Welcome back to Life with Liz. Today we are doing a get it all done style video. I need to get a few random things done around the house today. So we're just going to knock them all out in this video. So we are going to do a Dollar Tree DIY, super easy um, little arrangement. And I'm gonna be using that on my coffee bar, which will be an upcoming video. So if you are not subscribed, please do so. And please make sure your little red bell is on so you know when that video is coming out. It should be this week or next, and I'm really excited to get that area done. But after that, I will also be unboxing and putting together my daughter's new car seat, and I'll explain all about why we have a new car seat and all that stuff. So watch out for that part coming up soon. Anyhow, and then the final thing we're going to be doing is cooking wings on our Traeger smoker. We just recently bought this smoker from our friend, and it's our first time using it, so it might be interesting. <laughs> Even if you don't have a smoker, you might want to watch it just to see how that goes. Anyways, I think they're going to turn out delicious. Um, they were delicious whenever we went to our friend's house and ate them, so I'm sure that we can tackle it. It's not that hard, right? So anyways, like I said, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and we're going to get right into this video. So this is really pretty self-explanatory, honestly. But I just got these pots. You can get whichever ones you want. They have a whole bunch. They even have like the terracotta kind, whatever you want. I just went with this because it has real good in the area. I'm putting it in and I don't have to paint it or anything if I just use these. And it comes in four, so I can do many other little arrangements if I want to later. But today, we're doing this one. <laughs> so I'm going to use this and... I'm hoping I can just trim off some corners of it and it'll just squeeze in here. But anyways, I'm going to get this to fit in here and then I'm going to wrap this string around just for some added detail and tie a little bow. You could totally add like a Scrabble letter or a couple letters for initials. It would be a really cute gift that way. And then I got these flowers that I'm going to be sticking in there. They just are like lavender picks and then I'm using kind of silly to buy it this way but they didn't have just the green part so I'm just going to be using the green part of this I'll take off the colored parts and be able to put those in there too just to kind of use them as filler so I'm going to get right into doing this super easy super easy to do Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only You guys, didn't this turn out so cute? I'm very happy with it And I can definitely use this more than just spring but it is so cute and easily exchangeable. I could literally just lift out the entire thing from the pot and reuse the pot. But I have three other ones, so I'm probably not going to do that. But anyhow, very cute. All from Dollar Tree. Every single piece is from Dollar Tree. So you can totally do this on your own for, I think, what, like five bucks? Yeah, five, six bucks. So really cute. You could definitely do multiples too. So this is Lily's new car seat. She had a good new car seat because um, if you missed it on a few videos ago, I totaled my car. So when you do that, you have to replace the car seat if you have one in your car. So um, one tip is your insurance company will pay for your new car seat because that is part of basically the vehicle. So um, they did give me the money to buy the car seat. So this one is from Sam's Club. It is exclusively at Sam's Club, which says right here. 
But anyways, it's $89 there, or at least it was whenever I bought it. Um, sometimes it fluctuates. Sometimes it's on sale, sometimes it's not. So just wait for it to go on sale. It'll be $89. <laughs> but anyways, um, we love this car seat. We have, so my, both of our other car seats, so my husband still has his, and then mine that was total was the same car seat. So, um, yeah. We love this car seat and it goes from all the way from five pounds rear facing to forward facing a hundred pounds. So pretty much the entire time your kid's in a car seat. So unless you have a really heavy kid, I guess, <laughs> but that's, it even comes with a, this backless booster. So it'll go the whole time you guys have a kid in a car seat. So I'm just going to take this out of the box and put it together. I'm probably going to have to move up straps, I would assume. Um, but anyhow, we're going to do this now. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, 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 down Yeah And I thought it's time I'm letting you go I just wanted to point out that it's so easy to adjust the height without actually having to take the straps out of the car seat so that is like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> it's so easy to use. So um, I have to actually put Lily in this in the car to test it out before we head down the road in it. But this is pretty much where she's going to need it and I can make slight adjustments um, in the car. But this is our third one for a reason because we love it. It's only $89, which is an amazing price for a car seat that you can use forever. Um, it's very comfortable for her. It has nice padding. This eventually will just stay here, but it's loose just because it's not used to being there. But anyhow, um, it obviously works very well in a crash because I completely totaled my vehicle, like bad totaled my vehicle, and Lily is perfectly fine. So um, with that being said, I highly suggest this car seat. Keep your baby safe. It's a great price and it's easy to move and adjust for your kid. And then um, it goes into many different stages. So rear facing, forward facing, booster seat, backless booster seat. I just, it's the best. That's why this is our third one. Anyways, let's hit the trigger. So this is our backyard and back patio. We need some serious repairs out here. So we need to repair our shed and paint it. It's getting worn out after this winter. Anyways, and then we collect water over here, which I don't really care. It's a patio. Um, but these bricks, we're, all, we're saving all of these landscaping bricks to make a fire pit. Maybe I can talk my husband into doing it this weekend if it's not bad weather. That would be awesome. This is our $25 outdoor table set that I found on Marketplace when we moved in here. I called my husband immediately. I was like, run, go get this table and chairs. And he did, so good boy. Anyhow, um, we normally have lights that surround the entire inside. All of these little black spots are lights, but I couldn't figure out how to turn them on again. I think maybe something's wrong with them. Maybe they have a short or something. So my husband can figure that out for me. <laughs> but, um, so not sure what's wrong with those. But also we thought our light was broken, our fan light was broken, but it works. So one thing's working now that we thought was broken and now something else I think might be broken and I don't know. Can't figure it out. I already did. We have a separate breaker box out here and I already did that too. So I don't know, whatever. Anyhow, this is our Traeger. This is why we're out here. <laughs> And this is the storage for the pellets. This is actually like food, like dog food storage. But um, our friend has one of these, and so we just picked it up. But it has a really good suction seal. And then there's all our pellets. And that'll just keep them safe from the environment out here. 
And then this is our little scraper we're about to use. We just bought this, um, and we just bought this as well. But I am going to get this unwrapped, and then I'll show you underneath. All right, so here's the Traeger. Here's where you put the pellets. There's already some in there. Temperature gauge. Here's inside, needs cleaned off. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I gotta get it warmed up so it can start cooking all that stuff off. And this is where the grease will drain down to. So, like I said, this is used, it's from our friend. They got a bigger one, so we bought their old one. You guys know me, cheap as can be. That's why I have a $25 patio set. <laughs> But anyways, um, so once I get this all cleaned up and we're putting the wings on, I'll show it to you again when we're actually using it. But I'm going to go in and prep the wings now. Okay, so what we're going to do for the wings is obviously we take them out of the package. And then we want to dry them off completely. So I'm actually going to rinse these off and then bring them over here after I rinse them off. I don't know. It's just a thing. I have to rinse off chicken wings. I don't know why. And then I'm just going to take paper towels and get them all nice and dry. So now we're going to put our mixture in this bag and then we're going to put all the chicken wings in here and shake them up and get them nice and coated. I might do half and half. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but anyhow, you can also bake them using these same steps and it makes them nice and crispy. So that's the whole point of doing it this way, is to get them nice and crispy. So I'm just going to start by putting half a tea, a tap, sorry, I'm going to start by putting half a teaspoon of all of these. So half a teaspoon of each of these seasonings, so salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder, and then I'm going to use a tablespoon of baking powder. You cannot swap this out for baking soda, you have to use baking powder. Anyhow, normally you could bake these, um, I think it's 375 or 400, I don't really remember, but you can um, just Google it probably and find a recipe, but anyhow, you can also bake these um, just as well as you can smoke them, and they're nice and crispy as well. So, I'm going to start doing this. So now we're just going to take this bag of these wings and put them on our smoker and then we're going to smoke it at 250 for 30 minutes and then we will turn around and turn it up to 425. That was my husband going outside if you can hear the door. But anyways, we're going to turn it up to 425 and cook it for an additional 30 minutes or until the temperature on them is all done. So we do have a thermometer too, so I will show you that. So let's go put them on there. Okay, so my husband is putting these on the grill right now. We are in <laughs> tornado season and we're supposed to have possibly a tornado tonight. So the weather is intense, so it might be loud, but he's just going to separate these on here like you would any grill or any oven. <laughs> so 30 minutes on 250. Right now it's showing 258, but it'll be 250. Let me close it up. quickly just showing you the mashed cauliflower on my grocery haul on Monday you guys would have seen these so I just wanted to share them with you you just cut two slits in the top and you bake it for 45 minutes on 425 or you can also make them in the microwave which is actually the preferred way for them but we like to do it in the oven so I do this and then at the end so you bake it for the 30 minutes and then you'll pull you'll pull it out and take the 
film off and then you'll stir it back up and add cheese to the top and then I bake it for 15 minutes. I do not put the film back on. So anyhow, this is what you do and I will show you how they turn out. It's really dark out here now, but I'm gonna show you the wings the best I can. You can't see anything really, but he's flipping them right now and then we're gonna turn them up to 425 for the rest of the time. The temperature of the wings needs to be 175, so we'll be checking those here after a little bit too. But our weather has finally calmed down. There's still, look how much water there is. <laughs> it's crazy. Our whole yard is flooded completely. You can't see it on here very well. I'll try to come closer for you. You can't see anything, but it's like soup out there, so. Yep, he's closing it up, and we'll let you know how much longer. 425 for like, I don't know, probably 15 more minutes, and then we'll check the temp, and they'll probably be done. So, don't mind my really dirty stove top, but anyways, we are making the sauce here. I'm just warming it up. We are using the Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce, buffalo, and then teriyaki sauce, half and half, and our local wing place calls this pterodactyl for the sauce name, so... Just gonna warm that up and then we will shake them up in a bowl with the wings. Just gonna show you how things turned out. So this is the sauce. Here are the cauliflower mashed potatoes. Not potatoes, mashed cauliflower. I don't know, whatever. It's like mashed potatoes, but it's cauliflower. <laughs> Anyways, and then here is the wings. They look amazing. So I'm just gonna toss them in our sauce. Lily is just having some dino nuggets and then she will also have the cauliflower mash. She loves that stuff, so. That's it. Kitchen is nice and messy. It was before I started cooking, honestly, but it's fine. And back here, being angry. Are you angry? Hmm? You ready to eat dinner? No? Here's how everything turned out. Looks so good. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Come down in the comments and let me know if you'll be trying this recipe on your smoker if you have one, or if you will be trying that Dollar Tree DIY we did in the beginning of this video. I would love to hear about it, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Make sure that you give this video that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow on Friday with a brand new video. Bye, guys.